Hello Rev and Pat, my name is John Nepper. I'm sending you this short video so you have an idea about things I might like to speak about and how it might fit in with your congregation at Unity of Sheboygan. I came to Unity Church about 25 years ago when my daughter was born because I was looking, I was struggling, I was trying to find out where I fit in relation to God, in relation to the church, and in relation to spirituality. When I came to Unity it fit for me. It seemed like a really good fit. About seven or eight years ago, Unity Church of Kenosha was in search of a minister, and they asked three of us in the congregation to take over the lessons and the meditations while the search went on, which took over 14 months. They dubbed us the three wise, guy, three wise men. We named ourselves the three wise guys, which we are much more comfortable with. So we did lessons over the, over the course of 14 months. But unity is a good fit for me because I don't describe to the other church's dogma. I don't, dis I don't believe I am a sinner, and I also know that God is everywhere, inside me, and everywhere else. One thing that I know for sure is that God does not want us to play small. He wants, to play, wants us to play big. It is his great pleasure to give us the kingdom in heaven. And how can we claim our place in the kingdom if we're playing small in our lives, in our relationships, in our health, in our jobs, in all of the, the ways where we maybe don't feel worthy, we don't feel we deserve to receive. And I'm here to talk to you today about ways to change that because once we clear some of the things out of our life, we can access those things. We can access the kingdom. We can be joyful. We can be happy. And we need to be aware of what those things are. So I want to spend some time talking to you this morning about the power of positive and negative language uh, so that you'll be able to recognize the differences between, in your own inner conversation when you're talking negative and when and how to change that. So you'll have a clear idea about then when it's happening, how to change it from negative self-talk into positive self-encouragement, and then how to use affirmations to bring about the changes in your life that you truly want. I will also share with you some ways that you can expand that tra transformation that will happen as you get clear, as you clear the clutter, you, you clear the obstacles, and how you can take that transformation further if you're really interested in that. This talk this morning is really for you if you know there's more in your life that you want, but you can't seem to break free from the places where you feel stuck. This talk for you is this morning if you are feeling undeserving and unworthy of all that God in the universe want for us. This talk is also for you this morning if you're in a place of transition in your life, if you are going through um, a life change such as a debilitating illness or a broken relationship. This is also for you if you're in a personal struggle uh, with your physical appearance. This talk, clearing the obstacles to all of the things that God's wa God wants for us will open the doorway to the things that we can truly have, the things that we can become the things that we can achieve, the things that we can receive in our life once we clear these obstacles. 